All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design, learn typography by building a nutrition label, step 60. So below our double indent element, we're gonna add a new P element with the text includes 10 grams added sugars, 20%. Uh, our new P element should also be double indented and have no bottom border. We're gonna use a span to make the 20% bold and right aligned, all right? And then we're gonna create another divider after that P element, okay. So below the double indent, we're gonna add another P with, uh, this is the text, let's start with that. So let's do P, slash P. That's not how we do that. Let's bring the closer arrow over there. All right, so in here we're gonna say, uh, what are we gonna say? Includes 10%, All right. includes 10G, I mean, 10G uh, added sugars, 20%. All right. So now our new P element should also be double indented. So we'll do this. Bring this class in there. Put it right here. Take divider out. All right. And then it should have no bottom border. So let's do no divider in there. All right, we'll do it right after this. All right, and then uh, use a span to make the 20% bold and right aligned. We got a 20% span right here. Excuse me, a bold span, I mean. Right here, let's bring it over here. Close it off on this end with another slash span like that. All right, let's look looking like that right now. Uh, what else? Create another divider after that P element. All right, so we'll do a divider like this. We'll just take this one, copy it right here, put it right there. All right, so now it looks like this. Uh, let's test it. All right, good, awesome, and submit it. Okay, all right, now we're on to step 61, and we'll see you next time.